A friend of ours, also a client, called me up and he, she said, I have a sister who just had a pretty severe stroke and right now is in, in the hospital. At the end of the day, she's not gonna be able to move back into her townhouse. We need you to think about possibly selling it for us. And she was the power of attorney and the whole burden fell on her to deal with, not only with her sister's health, but also trying to package everything up and, and sell this house. It was so, her biggest asset. Yeah, because of the situation, the bank was also potentially gonna be foreclosing on the house. So they had a time frame that they had to work within to save it from being foreclosed, be able to sell it. So we met with her and we took a quick tour through the townhouse. It was a mess, let's just put it that way. I don't think anything had been cleaned in about 20 years. It was in major disrepair. Some of the rooms had so much stuff in it that we couldn't even see what type of flooring there was. All the vents had layers and layers of dust on them. She was a chain smoker, so the, the lights were, had a yellow film on them. The ceiling was yellow. Just little things like knobs were all yellow from, I guess, nicotine. Her adult son was living with her. As soon as we got him out, we were able and got the house empty. We brought in our crew. The contractor who's been with us for almost 14 years came in and there was also a great deal of rust that was coming in through and one of the doors was completely rusted. We had a beer wallet because the money was not coming from our sister, was coming from our friend or the client. Four days before we went active, the toilet burst and flooded the townhouse. This was about the day before the photos. She called us up, our client, it was like, she's like, 911. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she said, grab a, what is that? Shop vac. Shop yeah. vac. And it never floods like in the basement. It only floods from the top floor, it seems like. So it flooded from the, there all the way through the ceiling. So the ceilings were buckling. Brand new carpet, brand new flooring. Soaking wet. Sopping wet. The LVP flooring was fine. We had to do paint and obviously they had to open up the ceiling because the water went all the way to the garage. So we had to redo that ceiling. We actually got a, a new toilet out of it, did pictures, we did virtually staging because it was empty. We had multiple offers. We actually had offers before we went on. I think we're around 40 yeah. cash offer. We closed in two weeks. Part of why we tell this story is because as people get older, you know, there's their health sometimes declines. Our client ended up as power of attorney had to deal with not only her sister's health, but also with trying to deal with this home, which is overwhelming. And she has a family and mm -hmm. she's trying to do stuff. So this was very inconvenient for her. Ultimately, we're problem solvers. And that's how we uh, think is probably our biggest value is we can come in and help somebody figure out whether it's do a little bit or do virtually everything. And we love helping our clients with anything and everything. What we want people to do is to be able, even if they don't want to sell their house immediately, call us. We're a resource. We want to give good advice to help protect them and give them the best possible advice because eventually they might be selling their home. Let us help you really um, make the right decisions that will ultimately save you money and make you money uh, down the road.